Oh, it wouldn't be possible without those fine folks. Our sponsorship and vendors, great sponsors, great vendors on hand, and we'd like to introduce to you Mr. Tyler Helms and Aubrey Dragula. Hospitality second to none, that wouldn't be possible without Miss Amber Jolly. And the rodeo coordinator that puts it all together, makes it all line up, makes everything happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to say hello to the very beautiful Jesse Lynn. <laughs> folks, it wouldn't be possible for this weekend to happen without those fine folks right in front of the bucket chutes. Do me a favor one more time. Let's make a little noise for those that are breaking it all possible here at the first annual Vortex Spring Adventure Rodeo. And you know what? As they stand right there, I stand right here, and you folks are seated to become some of the greatest fans in the grandstands. But you know what, folks? We live our life as free as the wind that blows. We don't have to punch time clocks, and we don't have to work nine to five. And you know why that is? Because we have the strongest military forces in the world. I mean, for the United States Armed Services. We say hello to the United States Army, the Navy, the Coast Guard, the National Guard, the POWs, the MIAs, and don't forget to make me hoorah for the United States Marines. The ladies and gentlemen, as they stand right there at the end of the arena, I want you to think about the fact that we're always surrounded by you. You never know whether, whether it might be a line at the grocery store, it might be a line to of our children at school. So right now, if you've ever worn the service uniform of the United States military, how about you stand up for us, would you please? Look around, folks. To your left, to your right, in front of and behind you, we are always surrounded by heroes. And into the heartfelt tip of our resist, all we say thank you for what you've done and for what you continue to do. You know what, folks? It is truly by God's grace that we're allowed to live here in this beautiful place where every dreamer's dream is allowed to come true. And that's why we love the colors, the red, the white, and the blue. over 240 candles on her birthday cake. She's in a tremendous shape for the shape that she is in. July the 4th, 1776 is when she came to us. And since then, she has stood for a lot of things in a lot of places. But one thing she stands for everywhere, she is American. The Statue of Liberty, the Brooklyn Bridge, and even the St. Louis Arch can be found inside her Star Spangled Banner. She give me the hushed voice of a choir at a cathedral on Sunday morning. Or she give me the roar of a jam-packed stadium during a World Series baseball game. She has stood tall on every battlefield we've ever fought on. And she has always stayed until it was over, over there. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the most famous cowgirl of all, Old Glory? And right now, if you haven't done so already, I invite you to please rise. And gentlemen, remove cover. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer, followed by our national anthem. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight mindful of all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. We ask that you watch over us in this arena, as well as walk beside us in the arena of life. We don't ask any special favors, Lord. We don't ask to draw around a shoot fighting horse. We don't ask to never break a barrier, nor do we have to perfect arena conditions. However, Lord, we do ask one thing. We make that last ride, that one that's inevitable to us all. The land up there where the grass grows lush, green, and stir up high, and those waters run cool, clear, and deep. Choose our final judge will tell us 
Come on in, cowboy and cowgirl. Your entry fees have been paid. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And right now, on the arena floor, I introduce to you a very talented young lady. She is known as the Alabama singing cowgirl. Let me tell you something. She's open for some of the greatest acts in country music. She's an award-winning Nashville recording artist. And tonight she is going to lead us the greatest song ever written in front of the greatest band ever flown. Here's the beautiful Miss Jessie Lynn and our American National Anthem. Emery Nord, we'll bring her back in. Behind her next, you're gonna find the Cowboys and Cowgirls on parade in what's known as the Rodeo's Grand Entry. 